technology. It's May 2nd today. Um, just a quick little update on the Verde Gray's garden. Everything is growing really well. As you can see, I'm still harvesting the lettuce, the cilantro, uh, Swiss chard, this mustard, and this uh, buttercrunch lettuce here. I started um, planted the seeds uh, Easter weekend, so they've come along really nicely in uh, just a few weeks. And my tomato plants have some buds on them that are about to open up. Um, so yeah, looking forward to those. Um, I've got a little trellis tab I've just stuck in behind the tomato plants. So when you're using these guys, it's nice to kind of figure out first where you think you want to put it. The idea is that sometimes when the pots, if they get heavy, particularly with the fruit, um, they can start to tilt forward and, and lift out of the garden that can uh, mean that their roots aren't getting enough water and of course uh, we don't want them to fall out. So what I do is I figure out where I want my trellis tab first. Uh, in this case I got it directly behind the stalk so I can just uh, give it a little support and tie it, keep it uh, where it is now. Um, and then I peel off the back, it's a little sticky. And then I, I've just got this um, gardening ties here and you can reel out whatever uh, length you need and then tie off your your plant. You don't want to um, to change the orientation of the pot, like I don't want to pull it um, back this way either. I just want it to stay as it is now and just stay flush uh, on the bottom of the gardens. So I'll go ahead and just tie this off. Okay, like so. And um, the only other maintenance thing I've done is um, just always pruning off any yellow or, or uh, dead leaves. Um, that just helps the plant produce more uh, leaves that we can harvest. And as well as, as the roots are getting up to around eight inches or so, then I just trim off the bottom one third. And that just ensures that they aren't tangling with each other. So if I wanna move a plant or take it out, I'm not having those roots all intertwined together. They can also get stuck um, on the back of the wall and uh, grow down into the tank. So um, My cilantro is doing really well, but it's definitely going to be, um, you know, sort of at the end of its, its life here in the next harvest. Um, so I've actually started some seedlings in the coco coir and I've just got them in a window. So when this cilantro is done, I've got the new seedlings just... Uh, in an indirect uh, sunlight window with a little bit of water in a tray. And then I can just pop those uh, new ceilings in there once uh, the cilantro is done, just to kind of keep things moving. I've updated the online manuals. There's some really great stuff in there. Um, also, I encourage you to go to the website and check it out. Uh, it's under the support tab, e-manuals, and there's new information um, on all the different plant phases and tips for all this stuff that I talk about uh, each week. So it kind of takes you through the different uh, growth phases of the plant and what to do, as well as some renewed uh, information on the watering schedules and different options for folks. I'm running uh, 12 hours a day, but only 15 minutes on and then 45 minutes off, 15 minutes on, 45 off. And I do that through the whole 12 hour cycle. Um, that's working well for me. We're getting up to 29 degrees this week. So I'll see if I need to uh, increase that some more, but so far so good. Um, yeah, and there's lots of other great information in the new manual, so go ahead and check it out on the website under the support tab, and be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, thanks.